woman visits animal shelter to adopt an adult cat, ends up making a fateful decision after hearing a kitten crying. Life can get hard for anyone, and animals are no exception, not even this cute kitten. You might be surprised to know that a massive number of 7.6 million animals are brought to animal shelters across the US every year, and half of them are cats. Astonishing, isn't it? Not everyone ends up being adopted as the number we just mentioned is anything but ordinary. So the question is, what happens to the remaining ones? Unfortunately, as much as 1.4 million animals are euthanized every year. Will this little kitten meet the same fate or the future that awaits him is much better? Listen to this heart-touching story to find out. This little kitten was only a couple of days old when he was first found crying on the street. The cat was all alone and no one was by his side. He sat near a trash can in a back alley and kept on crying as if he'd been abandoned. It was hard to tell whether he was once a pet as he didn't have any leash on or anything that would assure the fact. Was it a stray cat or his previous owner had abandoned him? Luckily for the kitten, a volunteer who worked at the animal shelter spotted him while he was out there on his own. He looked poor both physically and emotionally. He appeared to be weak and was perhaps starving for hours or days. At first glance, the volunteer could tell the kitten needed help and he decided to take him with him to the animal shelter where he would be better off than he was at the time. The kitten was brought to the animal shelter with the thought that he'd be better with other animals around to accompany him. He wouldn't feel alone around other cats and humans to take care of him, but the little kitten kept crying and never stopped. The potential foster pet owners who visited the animal shelter wouldn't adopt him because they thought he was too vulnerable and he kept crying. Was there anyone who'd take responsibility of this cat? Or was euthanasia the only option now? It's heartbreaking to see anyone cry and it was more devastating for the people at the animal shelter to constantly see the cat suffer and not know why he was crying. They were unaware of the kitten's emotions and they couldn't think of anything that would bring comfort. They had never witnessed anything like that before and were clueless about how to stop him from crying. The people at the shelter were taking proper care of the cat and they determined to bring a change in the kitten's life. They'd feed the kitten on time and even try to play and interact with him. But there were many animals out there and they couldn't just shift all their focus on him. Although this little kitten was still crying and if they couldn't get him an owner then euthanizing him was the only way out. When every door was closed for this little cat, someone walked into his life like an angel and what happened next brought a smile to everyone's faces. It was one day when things won't remain the same and the poor kitten's life would take a 180 in the most unexpected way possible. What most people didn't like about this kitten would change her forever. The crying which was a barrier in her adoption process until now would magically attract someone who visited the animal shelter for the first time. So what happened next and who was this person who would immediately fall in love with this crying kitten? A woman had visited the shelter one day, who goes by the name Bashi Boy on Reddit. She was roaming around the shelter looking at different animals when she heard the kitten crying. She was intrigued by the sound of the cat crying and decided to follow it. In the next moment, the lady was standing right in front of the crying kitten and she had something in mind. I went to a shelter with the intention of adopting an adult cat. My ears were drawn to the screeching of this three-week-old kitten, the lady said. While the lady had visited the shelter to adopt a much more grown-up cat, there was something about the kitten that changed her mind, and she couldn't quite put her finger on it. You'll be surprised to know that the kitten was brought to the shelter on the same day this woman had visited the shelter to adopt a pet. Serendipitous, isn't it? Or it's right to say that it was perhaps meant to be. She decided to adopt him from the moment her eyes caught the sight of this cute little kitten. But she couldn't just adopt him yet as there was an issue with this cat. So what was it that stopped this lady from adopting him at that very moment? As we discussed earlier, the cat was only three weeks old and her physical condition wasn't as great as it should have been. The cat was starving before he was brought to the shelter and appeared to be weak. The cat was too young and it also suffered from the trauma that, that was from being abandoned. It was too risky as of now to hand the cat to the foster owner. While this was already bad enough, it turned out the poor cat was suffering from health issues as well. When the volunteer at the animal shelter had discovered this kitten, he was all alone, scared and almost starving to death. 
As a result, he'd suffered serious dehydration, and it was better for him to stay under the observation of the animal shelter for a while. The vets there knew better about how to take care of this kitten, and she'd soon get a new family once he was recovered. Would the lady still adopt this cat with all the complications? There were a lot of them too, with this kitten that would send any potential foster owner running for the hills, and the lady who showed the will to adopt the kitten was scared for a moment as well. But she'd made up her mind and was determined to adopt this little cute ball of fur and give her a better life which she deserved. The process to adopt a pet is quite simple and it only takes a couple of hours at most. The lady headed back to her home to bring her IDs and other essential documents that one needs to successfully adopt a pet from the shelter. She came back within an hour or so and completed the process at the shelter's registration desk. Now all she had to do was pay a $50 as a fee and she could take the kitten home now. But there was one important thing she hadn't done yet. The proud owner and the new mother of this little kitten was yet to give him a name. It's important to give your pets a name, right? You won't really be calling them just kitten, puppy, kitty, doggy, cat or dog or whatever for that matter. She decided to name the cat after her and named him Bashi, which was the first half of her name Bashi Boy. So Bashi would now freely love her life and play around with her new owner and toys. What? Toys are fun for these sweet creatures as well. Bashi was a lucky cat to have ended up in the hands of such an adorable human being. The first few days of Bashi's life were full of struggle, but now he's living larger than life. Check this picture out and see how big his bed is. At his new place, Bashi's certainly being spoiled with love and comfort, but doesn't this cute little ball of fur deserve all the happiness in the world? Luckily for Bashi, his owner thinks the same. Bashi wasn't in the best of shape and health when his owner Bashi Boy saw him for the first time, but things are different now. Having said that, it didn't happen overnight, and it was the love and care of this lady that helped Bashi recover faster than he was expected to. Bashi's now fully recovered and is at the peak of his health. Bashi was initially weak and underweight when he was first found. He needed to gain a few pounds to look the size of an average kitten of his age. His owner made sure it happened and you can now see how healthy and relaxed he looks in this picture. Whomever said nothing heals better than love was right. Bashi loves a lot of things but cuddling with his owner sits at the top of his things he loves to do. He just closes his eyes and immediately stops doing whatever he was up to as soon as Bashi Boy hugs him and runs her fingers on his head and his back. He often starts licking her hands and there are times when he just dozes off. It does wonders to the little cat. Who says you need meditation to relax? There are so many things about cats that we humans can never understand. A cat owner would definitely tell you from their experience that you can never predict or judge what goes on inside a cat's mind. I'm not complaining, this is just the way they are and we're okay with it. Bashi was perhaps a bookworm in his past life as he loves watching his owner read and he sometimes turns the pages too. Quite impressive for a cat. Bashi was full of life after regaining his health and making it to 100%. Don't let his innocent face fool you as he can get quite mischievous at times. He often runs around the place and makes a mess of his room while playing with his toys. Yes, he has a room all on his own. At times he runs wild and ruins the sheets but his owner doesn't mind him as his actions are of no harm. Bashi's story spread like wildfire when his owner shared it on Reddit and the cool cat became famous overnight. Everyone on Reddit who came across this amazing story made sure to leave a comment and wished the best for Bashi and his owner. While many acknowledged the kind act for Bashi Boy, others couldn't get over how cute the little kitten is. Listen further to see what people had to say about this cat and his owner. The cat who struggled to get himself a foster owner a few months ago was being adored for his cuteness all over the internet. One Redditor wrote, I just can't get over how cute that cat is. Wish the best to him. Bashi Boy was surprised but happy at the same time to see so many people taking interest in their story, but what she liked the most was the love that people showered on the cat. Bashi looks very different than what he did when he was first brought to the shelter. He looks happier and healthier than ever and doesn't cry anymore. Bashi is four months old in the above picture and has had a crazy transformation over the last three months. He no longer suffers from dehydration or any other health issues. He's fit and fine, but there's more to just physical transformation that has happened to this cat. Bashi went through a dramatic transformation. What was a scared and miserable cat then is now a happy-go-lucky cat. Bashi might not know how lucky he is to have ended up in the hands of Bashi Boy, but he does make sure to reciprocate the love his owner showers him with. 
but this kid needed some training to transform into the obedient pet he is now. Much like dogs, cats need to be trained at a young age too. It's important to train your kitten as you don't want them to be digging in a trash can, ruining or scratching the furniture, pooping all over the place or leaving the room in a mess. Yes, a cat can do a lot of damage. Not only did the training make Bashi more obedient and smart, but it also strengthened his bond with his owner. Remember how Bashi's owner spoiled him by getting him all the comfortable luxuries, including a big bed? Well, the bed is no longer that big as the cat has grown to be bigger than the bed. In this picture, you can clearly see how big this cat is now, and to give you an estimate of his size, let me tell you that's the same bed that we showed you before. It's a firm belief that cats are lazy and they don't like to play much, but there are a lot of things said about cats that aren't true. We discussed earlier how energetic Bashi gets, and he loves to play interesting games with his owner. The cat, too, doesn't want to get stuck in a routine, you see. Some of her favorite games are fetching, feather and string, hide and seek. Yeah, you heard that right. Fetching's not just for dogs. It's a common myth that indoor cats don't need to be vaccinating too, but that's not true. There are as much as five viral diseases, including rabies, that a cat needs to be vaccinated for, regardless of whether it's an indoor or stray cat. The vaccination process usually begins when the cat's 8 to 12 weeks old, and the total cost varies from $1 to $200, but it's totally worth it. There are many reasons why adoption's better than buying a pet from the store. Bashi's owner advised people to rather adopt pets from shelters instead of buying them from a store. In my opinion, people should adopt cats or any pet they're considering to add to their family from shelters and not from breeders. We too are advocates of adoption over shopping as adopting an abandoned animal helps saving a life. These poor animals get a second shot to live a healthy and happy life if a responsible owner decides to adopt them. It's for the greater good ultimately, as the owner gets to have an appreciative pet and the pet gets to have a loving and caring family. There's a lot of things that Bashi loves, but nothing comes close to his love for food. He loves to eat cat food, but doesn't let the myth of a cat's love for milk fool you. There's a food item that Bashi, much like any other cat, would choose over everything. Cats are meat eaters and Bashi will always make sure to empty his bowl when he's served with cooked meat and chicken. P.S. Raw meat can make a cat really sick, so be careful. If you've ever brought a pet from a pet shop, you would know that they don't have a detailed record of the animal's history. Well, it's the exact opposite with animal shelters. They make every possible effort to ensure they're aware of the animal's history by keeping a detailed record. This is helpful for both pets and owners, as the potential owner knows what he's getting into while adopting. When you decide to get a pet, you should also make sure you treat them like your own family. Pets rely heavily on their owner and it's their responsibility to take proper care of these sweet creatures and give them all the love, comfort and care they can. Not only your pets, but you should also act kind towards stray animals you spot while you're out. You can feed them with some food whenever you can and you shouldn't be violent towards them in any way. I don't like labeling and believe to live in a free world, but differentiating people on basis of whether they're a cat person or a dog person doesn't seem to do anyone harm. It is an ever-existing question and we always ask this to people when we're getting to know them. Hey, are you a dog or cat person? Bashy Boy admitted that she's always been a cat person and the idea of petting a cat always excited her and she's more than happy to have Bashy in her life. As much as 1.4 million animals across the animal shelters in the USA alone are euthanized every year and Bashy would have met the same fate had things not happened just at the right time. Call it the cat's fate that Bashy Boy was at the right place at the right time, or you can say it was meant to be. Bashy's lucky to have a happy ending to his story as many don't meet the same fate as him. On an ending note, we'd once again like to request you to opt for adoption in case you decide to bring a pet into your family.